hey, don't tell my wife, but those four drinks just cost me sixteen hundred dollars. Oh my god, that way yeah. I would love to hear that conversation later. <laughs> This is Shannon and Kristen, and are better known as the Vogel Twins! Twins. Yay! <laughs> this month, we are taking you to Vegas! Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas is an internationally renowned major resort city known primarily for its gambling, but Kristen and I do not gamble. <laughs> no. Or even know how to. So, we decide to use the best bet Vegas tourists to teach ourselves how to gamble like a pro. The, be- the team at Best Bet at Vegas tours are experienced local guides mm-hmm. who share their passion and knowledge for Las Vegas with travelers from all over the world. So today, we will be talking to Jordan Bernstein, who are the o- who's the owner of Best Bet Vegas Tours, and we will be discussing the insider tips you need to maximize your fun in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> it's so exciting to see you again. Hello. We mentioned <laughs> earlier we were lucky enough to experience your Best Bet Gambling Lessons Tour already. So now that we have some experience, we have a few questions for you. First off, you mentioned to us off mic that you're actually from New York. Can you explain to us what brought you to Vegas? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, first off, nice to see you again, Shannon yes. and, and, and Kristen in the virtual yes. world. You're, you're yes. back in New York, right? You're yes. In New York. We're yes, back in New York. We're back in New York now. We're not in Vegas yeah. anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We, we, we're back and ready to rumble. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the Long Island, right? Yes. yes. Long Island. Long, Long yeah. Island. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, when I, um, when I was a kid, I grew up in kind of like small towns, you know, moved around a, a bit um, as a mm-hmm. child. But then when I was 18, I moved to New York City. Um, I was trying to pursue music, still am. And then at the oh. same time, my whole family moved to Las Vegas. Um, oh. So I was a very, like, headstrong New York state of mind for about 15 solid years, just trying to, you know, uh, play in bands and tour and do freelance work and stuff like that. But um, yes. kind of always had this, like, Las Vegas connection through my family. So I would come out here a lot. Um, and then um, when uh, me and my wife, Shannon, we also played in these bands in New York together. We would just, like, come out visit Vegas and kind of started to get like hooked by the place. Um, and that's sort of like what eventually brought us out here. But yeah, that family tie was my first, you know, wave into Vegas. And when I would visit here initially, I would like, you know, just go to my parents' house and like visit my grandma and not do any kind of vegas stuff. Oh, yeah. So I kind of like grew into the whole mm-hmm. culture out here a little bit. Yeah, you're getting like the true experience because I feel like Vegas tends obviously has this like, connotation of like gambling and other stuff. I feel like you had like the authentic like if you live there, you know what I mean, yeah. which is like kind of nice. No, I feel really lucky because I mean when we met you, that was actually our first time in Vegas. Yeah, and we had we have a very similar. I mean, I don't have family there, but we yeah. actually have a friend there who lives outside of like the main strip. Yeah, so that kind of what also pulled us to do Vegas, and we also kind of like enjoyed the outs, like you know, like, yeah. the outskirts of Vegas as well. But that's mm-hmm. also really why I like also love your tours because you yeah. have that kind of local mentality it doesn't feel like no shade to all the tours but like the clicheness of vegas yeah. you really root yourself in the history which i really really like about yeah. it so honestly i have to say though no it's probably like the weirdest city <laughs> in <laughs> maybe maybe in the whole world just kind of like yeah. in this valley surrounded by mountains kind of like isolated from the mm-hmm. the rest of the world in some ways and like you know maybe shouldn't even be here it's kind of like the joke of the city in, in some sense yeah. um yeah. but you know vegas kind of like offers everything in a sense um, coming mm-hmm. from New York, you know, had this like 24 hour lifestyle and, you yeah. know, entertainment and kind of world class food and all kinds of stuff. And, and the mm-hmm. light out here in the desert over the mountains is just really beautiful. Oh. Um, you know, like wide open spaces, big skies get mm-hmm. out of that like East Coast Absolutely. metropolitan squish. So yes. yeah, that's kind of what brought me out to the West, the, the Southwest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, that was one of the biggest, biggest things I noticed, like, because we drove around Vegas, like, when we were, to, like, you know, when we were there, and that was the biggest takeaway. I didn't realize, like, you just saw mountains constantly. On every corner. Like, every corner, I feel like I was driving. I was like, look at that. I was like, oh, my God, like, look at us. I now. mean, you know, coming from New York, yeah. it's just, like, all, like, you know, it's just a lot of buildings. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it can be in Manhattan, anyway. And yeah. it's, like, cool to see your transition from, like, like you said, you're a 
you know, 15 years into New York and yeah. then like transition to Vegas seems so natural to you since yeah. there are similar elements. Cause that's, mm-hmm. a, that's something we did a lot when we were traveling in Vegas, the yeah. similarities between, like, I did notice, like, yeah. I think the food, the, like the, the energy that Vegas can have, cause it's very, like, it can be very eccentric, you know, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like New Yorkers especially can be that, <laughs> especially if you're walking down a certain street, you know? <laughs> yeah. It makes sense. You went yeah. from the jump from New York to Vegas, yeah, not it, just it for was, family. It feels natural for you, but actually yeah. I was curious though, like how did best bet Vegas tour start for you um so moving out here we kind of just you know packed up the old band van from new york and just (laughs) drove out to uh, vegas without any real plan at all um and you know those jazz bachelor of fine arts degrees don't really get you too much in the job world so (laughs) kind of had to go through craigslist and things like this to support myself over the years and kind of mm-hmm. fell into just working at some different tour companies in town and kind of just like learning the craft. And I really got into the job, um, different like walking tours, Grand Canyon tours, kayaking tours and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I really liked it because there was this whole element of like um, learning about the history of the place and the story behind where you are. And then also like trying to tell it in some sort of way. And it kind of became like this little performance in a sense and you kind of just make it your own. So I was just working for tour companies and then COVID happened. And then that was, mm-hmm. um, you know, two years of kind of strangeness and um, coming out of it started to sort of work for some people again, but eventually very quickly we were like, you know, let's start our own thing. Um, mm-hmm. We, you know, already know what this is about. We're just kind of doing it ourselves anyway. Let's just start our own company. Um, I've always started little businesses just to kind of like keep the dream alive, you know? Um yeah. And then, yeah. And then why best bet kind of started, like I also had this friend Stuart, um, you know, being in Vegas, Ooh. I liked it because um, you get to interact with different generations. I, I felt more so than yeah. I was in New York. Yeah. Like there's a lot of, mm-hmm. I guess, older people who just kind of come out to Vegas and they're retired and they're still <laughs> yeah. kind of like, like work and have fun and, and you know, kind Absolutely. of work in these freelancy avenues, similar to me, mm-hmm. which is kind of weird. Um, but yes, yeah. yeah, so I met this guy, Stuart, and he was like an old school gambler had this idea of doing this, um, you know, gambling lessons tour um, as well as like some other walking tours. And so me and him and then my wife, Shannon, we kind of all started this together um, in 2021. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah, that's wow. kind of how it happened. Look at that girl. That's I love that. The entrepreneurship. You know but what I, I mean? Also, I also love asking this question because of the progression naturally how it yeah. like came about, you know, like that mm-hmm. is so cool to I me. Do like, that. especially like you kind of got exposure through like all the tour groups that you did. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it's just kind of like, well, we evolved. can do this too. Yeah. Like, why not? Mm-hmm. And that's the thing I honestly loved about your tour specifically. I yeah. liked how honestly, like the biggest thing for us is that, you know, you're like a lot of your tours offer so much experience from like Fremont Street, Art District to the Strip. Mm-hmm. Each tour kind of gives you either a drinking, eating or like a gambling experience yeah. in Vegas. But like out of because you actually have a lot of different. No, tours. yeah, it's one. Like, we yeah. just did one. We did like the best bet gambling lessons. And yeah. that was like, we'll definitely like talk about that in a minute. Yeah. But I would love to like hear like out of all the tours that you offer, which one would you recommend for like a first time Vegas visitor? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they they all, like, you know, it's like eating, drinking, gambling. That's sort of the culture of Las Vegas in a way. We kind of try to touch on all those. So it kind of depends on, you know, what you like to do, what you're geared towards. I mean, in in the most senses, when people come to Vegas for the first time, like, they want to go to the Strip and they want to see that. And it's kind of something like they, you know, you kind of have to do. It's like going to, like, the the big monuments in the city, you know. But it's, yeah. but it's yeah. kind of like the tourist trap. So, um <laughs> I'm sure that so sure. I, I, I would I say like if you you're, have if you're, to see these things. Yeah. I, <laughs> like if for first yeah. time, you have to check it off your bucket list. I respect that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but even that said, I, I, you know what? I'm still going to go ahead and say if you came here and take a tour with us to take the gambling lessons tour because um, there's nobody else in Las Vegas who actually offers this experience. Yeah. And it also brings you downtown to Fremont Street, which I feel a lot of people – you know, I'm always surprised, like, they don't know about Fremont or downtown Las Vegas, and that's yeah, the original totally. Las Vegas, and kind of, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's definitely, like, evolved over the years, but to me, it's, like, the yeah. heart of the city and kind of, like, the soul of Las Vegas in a lot of ways, and mm-hmm. also, you know, Las Vegas has also evolved past the gambling, but, like, the real bread and butter and, like, culture of the city is gambling, yeah. and I think yeah. in some ways it's maybe kind of, like, in an odd way, sort of, like, phasing out in the sense, so 
um, you know, actually like getting at the tables and having a chance to like mm-hmm. learn that yeah, in the real yeah. casino, I think is like a pretty special experience. But mm-hmm. if you don't want to gamble, you know, um, definitely like the, like the food tour we do on the strip is a great introduction to the city. Um, you know, it's a little overwhelming with the food theme. So we try to kind of pare it down and give mm-hmm. you some tips. And, you know, all the tours also hit on a lot of like historical aspects of Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's food tour on the strip. Um, then we do like a bar tour on Fremont where it's a similar experience, oh, but we go to three different, yeah. more kind of like local um, mm-hmm. you know, speakeasy inspired kind of like yeah. hidden types of spots that you'll probably miss if you're just walking around um, downtown on your own. Oh. Yeah. No, it's I, honestly, honestly so true. I mm-hmm. honestly, when I was doing a lot of research on Vegas and like what to do and what to see and for Shannon and I, we really were like, you know, we don't gamble. We know it's like, I, I felt like it has so much history to the city that we're like, we should like learn how to do it. And even if like, you know, we, cause I don't really gamble. Like we no. don't, you know, like at all. So I really don't know the games that well. So we thought this was like the perfect opportunity, but to your note, you are the only tour group that I noticed that even offered something like this at all, which yeah. I loved. Cause I was like, I, I want to be able to like learn how to gamble, not like, you know, lose the money in doing that. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, I just want to like learn and be able to like, you know, walk through the casinos and enjoy what I'm looking at. And I, th- I felt like that your tour kind of gave that opportunity to kind of Get that sort of like, you know, casino experience of having to like have that, like, you know, like the trauma, trauma of the trauma of losing the thousands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if you, want, if you exactly. gamble hard. If you gamble that much, you know, which no, I, I mean, thought was really fascinating. I mean, we talked about this too. Like mm-hmm. I even was saying like on our first day of Vegas, this was like the day before we did your tour. Yeah. And I'm walking around the casinos and it's such an amazing, like, you know, atmosphere. Energy. But yeah. the thing that was difficult for me, like any sport you're watching, I didn't understand the rules. So no. like, as I'm walking down, I'm trying to like, look and observe and see what's going on but i don't really i couldn't grasp like how exciting it was or like the big yeah. loss that was happening <laughs> on the next table ahead that after your tour because we mm-hmm. had our tour guide was mark shout out shout out to mark he was the greatest we're gonna talk about him later but you know after having this really cool like two and a half hour tour with mark I learned so much, Mm -hmm. not even just like how to play and really great tips, but I feel like my biggest takeaway from it was I was able to enjoy the atmosphere so much more because of it because I learned the rules to all the games. Whether or not I wanted to jump in and like actually participate, it was still really fun to watch others and like actually get what was going on. And honestly, I agree too with Fremont Street. Yeah, I feel like that gets slept on and I'm so surprised. Like, and to be fair, I didn't actually know about Fremont Street until we did research. Like I only assumed like the strip like i was like okay like i don't know what else there is and because we were there for like longer than i think like like a weekend which i think most people spend time doing that we were got the opportunity to check out fremont street in downtown favorite. which was probably my favorite part to be yeah. honest i was like this felt like local this felt like you know and i did we did get the history from mark about like it's you know history of fremont which i absolutely loved and made me like appreciate where we were so much more i felt like for me the biggest thing when we travel is trying to find the local spots you know yeah, and i does. feel like this this tour even though it's like a tour like group type yeah, yeah. situation it didn't feel that way in the slightest it felt yeah. like i was invited with a friend yeah. and we were he was just like you know shooting the shot <laughs> being like hey girls like we got this this and this yeah. and it was fun that we were like you know playing with mark but also hearing his crazy gambling stories because i know i wouldn't get that if i decided to just jump on a table with like yeah like actually playing so yeah i thought it was really nice nicely paced too like yeah. i loved it mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah and that's that's like kind of the difference because um mm-hmm. the casinos they, they've kind of actually stopped doing this but like some of them used to do these like morning craps lessons they would kind of like you know half-heartedly no. like just try to teach you the game it's mostly mm-hmm. been phased out um, but you know, also not to like the extent of what we're doing, but also I think what separates what we're doing from that is what you're just saying, um, that you're, you know, taking this tour with people who have like this real life experience and gambling and all the kind of like yeah, wild yes. stories that comes with it. And also just like the comfortability of them just being there in that element that they've just been in a lot of times really kind of like sucks you into it. And the whole point of the, the tour is like, you know, to teach you how to gamble to an extent, yes. you know? Um, but yeah, also yeah. just to kind of like Absolutely. bring like enthusiasm about gambling and the, the culture of gambling in Vegas as well, which I think um, kind of gets missed or sort of like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Something about it gets lost, I think. No, absolutely. I agree. I, I don't know. I just, I mean, I mean, you, you kind of nailed it, obviously. No, absolutely. Like it, it was honestly the coolest thing ever. And I mean, I mentioned before, you have like other ones as well. Yeah. Like the food tour, which we're really big advocates for. Yeah, I'll say I this. Food. <laughs> it was so, again, it was so overwhelming 
trying to figure out where to eat in <laughs> Vegas. And being New Yorkers, you know, I feel like we're foodies naturally. Yeah, naturally. Like, you go down any street and you're like, okay, give me a slice. Like, let's yeah. figure out where the best, like, cafe is. Yeah. And Vegas had a lot of that. And your tour is sh- showcase some really great mm-hmm. spots too and there's like and you do mention there are other tours like yours but i really like that you have a lot of history behind it where you like know there's the like a lot of authenticity as well like yeah, you can just tell like the i mean just mark alone like how authentic and genuine he was throughout the entire process like he was so proud he's like i'm born and raised here you know like it was yeah. like very clear that he was just like i want to show you like my life and how I've done these things and how I can, you know, even if you're a passerby in my city, I want to show how much like there's love there, you know, of like the city yeah, itself, yeah, which yeah. you could tell in a heartbeat with Mark, which is why well, I love him. Yeah, we <laughs> love Mark. Best. But um, I'm actually curious though, um, out of all the tours though, which one do you enjoy the most? Like I'm curious, like obviously biased to the gambling one, but yeah, I'm no, curious we're, we're going to take it out. You can't say gambling. You can't say the gambling one because we said it. Well, yeah. And the gambling, and the gambling, tour is one of um one of two of the tours that i don't actually personally conduct myself so <laughs> yeah I, I can't really answer them but the one i probably like to give <laughs> most is the uh, uh best bars on fremont um kind of yeah, our happy oh, hour tour on one. fremont because we get to work with this kind of you know like more independent local vendors um mm-hmm. in that district uh whereas on the strip you know it's very just kind of like corporate and these like big giant you know mm-hmm. and enterprises but downtown mm-hmm. you know, we have like more direct relationships with these vendors and mm-hmm. you get to see a side of downtown in fremont that i think people tend to miss when when they're there and also you know just mm-hmm. drinking is a little more fun usually it gets a little more right. interesting it is. <laughs> It Absolutely. is. It is. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like nobody starts the story with like, you know, that time I had a salad. It's always like, yeah, I had one too many beers. <laughs> That's when the story just escalates. The, the story always escalates with those kinds of things. Honestly, I have done, we have done in the past, um, yeah. you know, uh, bar crawl type tours. Yeah. They're like, honestly, some of my favorite too. Like, be, just because it's not only just because obviously drinking's fun, <laughs> but you make so many friends through the process. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like like-minded people coming together being like, I want to enjoy the city. I want to see what it's new there and i think that like especially drinking ones are always like very very fun and since that is the one that you enjoyed the most you probably have some crazy stories about some people and i kind of want to hear one yeah. <laughs> what are you the craziest story that or the person that you've met that you were like what is happening maybe like a very vegas story um, very vegas. Bar hopping. Yeah. <laughs> um well probably my favorite my favorite story of doing um our bar tour downtown um I started out with this um, a small group. It was just like me and three other people. You know, our groups oh, range nice. from like two people to about 10. So it's definitely like on the smaller, nice. more personalized side. Um, yeah. But this couple showed up and they were from Texas. And the gentleman was quite drunk by, you know, the start of the tour, <laughs> um, <laughs> which, which happens sometimes. And, um, you know, we're doing the tour. He's kind of being crazy, being a little more wild than my general guest. But, you know, we're making through, we're getting through the tour. Um, and along the route, we, I kind of show um, the guests this restaurant called Hugo's Cellar. It's in the, uh, the basement of the Four Queens, this kind of like historic mm-hmm. mid-century modern casino from 1966. But in the oh, basement cool. um, is this restaurant called Hugo's Cellar. It's been there since 1973. And it's this old story, like mob, Rat Pack, Sinatra kind of spot. Oh, um, nice. And I always take people down there just to give it a little glimpse because it's kind of like a mm-hmm. Vegas time machine. All the waiters are in tuxedos, all like the ladies get a long stem rose when you come in. And it's like a stark contrast to the madness of modern, of Fremont going on right now. So I would just bring him down just to like get a glimpse. We don't like have a drink down there or anything, but we just like Mm -hmm. have a glimpse. But I brought this guy down and he was like adamant about buying us all around um, at the little (laughs) front bar. So he goes up to the bar and like points to this bottle and bartender pours us these four cognacs and probably like the smoothest drink I've ever had. Yeah. All of a sudden, the maitre d' is telling us all these Sinatra stories, and it was very cool. Um, but then we went outside, and he pulled me aside, and he said, hey, don't tell my wife, but those four drinks just cost me $1,600. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God. That wife, yeah, I would uh, love to hear that conversation later. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, apparently he pointed to the louis the 13th bottle i don't don't know if he intended to but that's what we had so that was oh, that was a no. memorable one. Oh my oh, god but yeah that's i thought he was a good one i am yeah, so 
jealous. I wish I knew that. Me too. Next, when we come back, we're doing that. Yeah, I, I am jealous that. of that. That sounded so cool. That does sound freaking and cool. And I love, I love history in general. So like to, to be able to like go to a place that like still kind of has those elements, you know? Yeah, like, you saying they had some like Frank, Frank Sinatra yeah, like, stories. Yeah, let's that vibe. You know, you know it's I was got like, the vibe. Got the, I like the rose thing. That's yeah, cute. Me too. I like that. I, I, like like, I would just go touches. for that alone. I'd be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> be like, I'm back in Italy. <laughs> yes. And I'm just curious, yeah. you know, we already mentioned that we like did the best bet gaming lesson tour and like yeah. loved it. Our, our, you know, our guide uh, was Mark and he was an adorable older gentleman who taught us three games, roulette, craps, and blackjack. Mm -hmm. We were wondering, have you ever gambled? Yeah. Like what, what is your, what's your game? <laughs> what is your go-to game? game? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've gambled, you know, I'm, um, it doesn't like hook me in the same way as it hooks some people mm. who really get into yeah, it out yeah. here, but it's just like so ingrained in like the culture of Vegas to me. It's like, mm. I don't know. I don't see how you can like not gamble from time to time when you're here. It's just like <laughs> literally everywhere. Um, yeah. When I first moved out to Vegas, I was really interested in craps and learning that because it oh. seemed like the most fun game, you know? Mm, yeah. um, and got really into this idea of dice setting where you, you know, you, position oh. the dice in a certain way and you try to like throw yeah. it on an axis and so it like lands <laughs> in a particular way <laughs> it yes, doesn't really work that, that well unless you uh spend your whole life trying to throw this thing um yeah. but yeah craps is fun i've definitely like won a little bit lost a little bit on craps mm -hmm. um and and roulette i like a lot as well because that was mm, your yeah. game um that we kind of started mm -hmm. this company with and he had this little system about roulette that i like to use um yeah. and then also like when you hang out in the city of Las Vegas and you go to bars or like the little dive bars, mm -hmm. sports bars, whatever, yeah, there's yeah. always video poker machines on every single seat. Yeah. So you kind of get it hooked into that a little bit as well. And yeah, Stuart had his own little um, uh, strategy about how to play uh, video mm -hmm. poker. So I've, you know, won and lost doing that as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that you've seen in like a casino? Like when while you're gambling, is there anything like a moment you were like, "Oh wow, I feel like I'm in Vegas." Like this is those stories that you hear, you know? Um, yeah, I I don't know. I mean, the crazy it's always crazy to me when I see people hit and like it actually. If you spend enough mm. time in these casinos, like you see it kind of like fairly often, people like winning mm. like you know multiple thousands of dollars. Um, yeah. And it's always a bit shocking because I think it's always a bit shocking to me because I feel like a lot of times I see these people and they don't seem all that shocked or excited by it. But. <laughs> you're like, you're not excited? <laughs> yeah. I think that would surprise me too. I'm like, you just like won like millions. You're saying they're like, no, no response. You know? I, I will say actually, when we were on the tour yeah. with Mark, someone did win a few thousand. They, uh, yeah. I, they um, announced it. They're like, Betty just won <laughs> on the slot. They're all sitting there like, ooh. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. I was like, that honestly, that was like super interesting. Yeah, though, too. yeah. No, that was fun. That was seriously so so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the honestly... casinos like like to announce when that happens. They don't. Yeah. They don't usually announce when the opposite happens. So. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's not good <laughs> PR. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you want to make no. sure it's like, oh, you're winning. You know what I mean? You're, you yeah. want to come back and you get that little energy back. You know. I know. And I'm curious. Yeah, I well... mean, oh, sorry, you're saying? Oh no, go ahead. I know. I'm just so curious because obviously we've been gushing over Mark, the yeah. guide. I mean, and you've obviously mentioned you do some tours and like yeah. there's other tour guides in the tours that you guys do offer. Mm -hmm. How do you find these local guides yeah. like Mark, for instance, mm -hmm. for your tours? Um, you know, yeah. um, well, when we started this company, it was just like me and Stuart doing the tours. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it was kind of like this partnership. Un unfortunately, Stuart passed away um, last mm -hmm. June. Mm -hmm. And in his absence, you know, we just wanted to continue the business and continue it going along. So it just turned into a situation where, you know, we reached out to the, the community just mm -hmm. through like, you know, local mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, job sites or whatever, and just like met people and interviewed people. And, you know, there's certainly like this, like, deep culture of gambling in Las Vegas. So there was a lot of, you know, interesting, colorful people that, that answered the ad. And we, uh, um, you know, just kind of like pared it down to, to a couple of guys and really like mm -hmm. Mark, because he was just like, also had, you know, this like deep history of like being born and raised in Las Vegas, being yeah, a dealer yeah, like in so. Las Vegas. And he just is like, that's like, he's super comfortable in that environment and is very like enthusiastic mm. about gambling. On the other side, like the other guy that we use, he is more of the other angle of that, which is like the gambler 
Um, he wasn't a guy, he wasn't a dealer or anything, but he's just someone who's like really just been gambling his whole life and has like that perspective of it. So I think those are kind of like two interesting different takes. Um, if you take the tour, you know, you might get one or the other, but still like, we'll get you excited about gambling, I think. Oh, absolutely. Okay, it totally got us excited. Honestly. Yeah, no, I loved it. I if loved anything, it made background. me respect it even more than I already did. Like, yeah. I was intimidated walking into it because, again, like we mentioned, we're not yeah. gamblers. And not because, you know, I'm not, like, interested. It's more about the fear of, like, losing money, <laughs> which is the point. I know. It's the point of the game. It's I the know. point of the game. I get it. But it was really nice to, like, you know, walk in with someone who's such a pro, like you mentioned, yeah. you know, and you feel like you're kind of in this, like, I don't know safety net in a way because they're teaching you with such compassion but also with all their knowledge that they're yeah, graciously like sharing he really, with you. he did such a great job with like you know he'd like show how let's say it was being played and then explain like try doing this this and this you have better bet or this this and this like try and it, i just felt like yeah i was like oh i didn't think to like play that sort of game like or that sort of you know well tactic. something i also really want to acknowledge that you guys also do during each game is you guys kind of have like a little i called it a cheat sheet in a way yeah where you kind of cool. gave uh, these pamphlets out on each game and it kind of highlighted like the rules of the game so you can kind of like reference point it like even after the tour which i thought was such a great takeaway and super personal because i mean as much as mark was talking we only had two and a half hours yeah and that sounds like a lot but the amount of rules and the technique that he's showing you you could get a little lost so it was really nice to to have have like have a reference point like as you're doing the tour so even like you walk away from the tour i kind of was like i held my pamphlet i was like okay (laughs) <laughs> like, I was ready for blackjack more than anything. Me too. Yeah, I think I was like prepared yeah. for blackjack. I was like, I'm ready for this one. Yeah, I give you credit because I know you mentioned earlier that you were really into craps, and like honestly, that was went so- over my head. I was like, whoa, this is so much to there was remember. Just so much strategy. I was yeah. so impressed. I was yes. like, whoa. I was like, that to me, like, wh- like. That, to me, that was like probably the most like you know what I know of Vegas. Like when I think of like the tables and stuff, yes, like, like throwing the dice, doing the thing. So for me, that was exciting to see. But I was like, wow, there's so much strategy that I had anticipated yeah. and known. So it was cool to hear Mark kind of go through all of that with us and just learn from him. See, and then on the other spectrum with roulette, there is no technique. <laughs> well, he gives you like ideas, but he's but it's like, just it's, like, it's, like, you it's like there's you know what I mean. It's like you could put any number down, which I yeah. kind of like too, honestly. Which mm-hmm. I think honestly made me want to play either honestly any of the games no honestly they all like i walked away being more excited for sure like in in general i was like this is super cool and i absolutely loved every second of it (laughs) yeah i we loved your tour if you couldn't tell yeah if you couldn't (laughs) tell we had an amazing time and i already want to go back for the the drinking one (laughs) we missed out on that yeah come back we should have done that yeah no absolutely no i definitely we've got friends (laughs) yeah we've got you guys i know i'm gonna tell them all about it be like guys if you haven't done this one yet you have to do it like no worries so i want to yeah yeah oh no go ahead but yeah i'd love to see you guys again definitely come back to vegas oh my god absolutely yeah no we definitely plan to go back But I actually just wanted to say, though, like, just to wrap all this stuff up, we want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Before we head out, though, we want to give you the opportunity to talk about, like, any of the other tours that you provide or whatever the things in Vegas that our audience can know. That way, when they ever go to Vegas, they can hit you up. (laughs) Yes. Okay. Yeah. We are Best Bet Vegas Tours. Um, Small group, local walking tour company in town. Mm -hmm. We do a variety of tours, gambling lessons. Um, downtown at the Plaza Hotel Casino, um, a bar tour, cocktail tour downtown on Fremont, um, a food tour on the Strip, um, a tour of the Arts mm-hmm. District, which is a neighborhood that a lot of tourists tend to miss in in Las mm-hmm. Vegas. And we just, yeah, try to offer a, a more local perspective of what's going on down here. It's not big. It's not overhyped. It's very personalized to, mm-hmm. to you. And it's, uh, I think, a, a really different and kind of fun way to check out Las mm-hmm. Vegas. Yeah. Yes. No, absolutely. I you summed it up that. so well because that's exactly how I felt about it. Which yeah. I you felt agree. like, you know, we talked about this off the mic, how we love finding like, you know, hidden gems of like really cool places mm-hmm. like Vegas. And when we found you guys, it was like it such like, a treat. Yeah. And then experiencing it was even like, it exceeded our expectations. And yeah. we were already excited walking in and we left being even bigger fans. So I can't yeah. wait to go back to Vegas and explore your other tours. Cause honestly, absolutely. he, I mean, I, I mean, honestly, you, you really nailed it when you said there's so many other locations besides the strip that yeah. people need to check out. And it was, I agree. we were able to check it out, but I'd love to see your perspective on it. Have absolutely. the local guide with us. That'd be amazing amazing but yeah. thank you again so much for being on today yeah thank you you killed it we loved it <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Yeah, thank you, Shannon and Kristen. A pleasure to meet you. And yeah, yeah. be in touch. Of, yes, course. of course. All right. Bye.